Yeah, just uh, title for my <clears throat> uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, first of all, it's a uh, thank for inviting me to give a talk in this uh, conference. Uh, yeah, my talk is about uh, data-driven um, laboratory experiment and classical mathematical modeling for the cancer growth and treatment. So this is like, um, this is actually a summer program that I did with my student at Jarvis Christian College. Uh, so we just changed the, num uh, the name of the college from Jarvis Christian College to uh, Jarvis Christian University like uh, back in I think Mars, I think Mars 6. Oh, sorry, May, May 6, sorry, yeah. Um, so this is the abstract of my talk. Uh, this, uh, so Jarvis Christian University is a small historically black college and university at Hawkins, Texas. So like the, it's located um, in East Texas. So it's between Shreveport, uh, Louisiana and Dallas. <clears throat> and we were able to, you know, secure funding from NSF through the targeting infusion project under the HPG app or historically black college university and the credit program. So we can have we be able to, you know, uh, to have a summer undergraduate research in compositional and mathematical biology. Um, in this presentation, I would like to share the the challenge and the opportunity for doing undergraduate research in computational and mathematical biology with underrepresented minority students in STEM during the COVID-19 pandemic. <clears throat> and I will explain about yeah, I will explain about how we use the laboratory experiment data and classical mathematical model to predict the cancer growth and treatment. Um, so the Jarvis Summer and the Creative Research Experiment in Computational and Mathematical Biology is uh, like a eight-week summer internship program that is funded by NSF under the Targeting Inclusion Project. Um, historically black college and unity and creative program or APCR. So yeah, this is a, like a, a three years project with the title is Innovative Justice Undergraduate Mathematics Program or ICAM, which is uh, we try to embedding the computational and mathematical biology into the lab stem. And the SPCU app uh, provides uh, awards to, to strengthen as a STEM undergraduate education research SPCU. And uh, also, and so the spot is also available through the following track, like uh, target inclusion and also the broadening uh, research participation uh, and also research innocent award. <clears throat> yeah, there are many projects here that, that we can apply if you, I think you know if you are uh, if your institution is under the SPCO. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the story. Sorry about this. Uh, um, let me get faster. Um, yeah, so. Uh, so we start up, sorry, um, sorry, I have to come back. Yeah, it's just like a, we can, you know, we, we got the funding like um, 2000, yeah, 2019 and then, because of the COVID, you cannot. And also, we, when we got the award, it's like it's late. I mean, like it's almost like almost uh, like at the end of the summer. So we can only yeah. The sorry, I think the the funding is uh, started in two thousand eighteen, but due to the 
you know, um, I think because of the government, the government shut down something like that. So we got the award is late, like at the end of the almost at the end of the summer 2018. So we, we cannot start the program uh, during the COVID. So, so it's like a summer 2019. Um, so the problem that we have here is um, we are unable to do the research and experiment in the biology, uh, in the biology lab. So we can do in a computer lab. I mean, like this thing. So in this case, we try to use uh, uh, the data that is from the previous student summer research experience. Uh, we can use the data, the experiment data from the previous summers for this uh, for this project. So we have like different data from for from for different um, cancers. So um, the project is or the yeah the summer project mostly like uh, how to do mathematical modeling using the data that is from from the lab. <clears throat> so uh, the the first time um, we have student like we have the uh, six students who applied for the program and we accept all of the students. So it, the students are like one from mathematics and two from biology and three. Um, yeah, there are three students that is uh, that are who are the world majors in biology and chemistry. And then also lately one of these students decided to have minor in mathematics. <clears throat> um, so because we cannot meet uh, the student on site or in, in campus, so we decided to use a, a learning management system on campus as our virtual class or lab or some, some or, or like virtual campus and like that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so the specific aim for the for the research uh, is to expose the minority and the great and the represent student and the representative student in STEM to the state of the art technology real life research and also Cultural responsive training for the career and also the graduate study in computation and mathematical biology for the last thing. Um, okay, sorry. Um, so our hypothesis is uh, we, we we could improve the student engagement in doing research and training or education if we could teach them the grow mindset and culturally, culturally uh, responsive thinking. Yeah, we could teach them that it is, uh, you know, this is me that is only certain ethnic group could do the good math, something like that. I mean, could be good in mathematics. So we have to mention to them that we have to, to increase them or we have to convince, convince every one of them that learn and be good at mathematics is have a good mentor. I mean, everyone can learn and be good at mathematics if they have a good mentor and also uh, kind of a group mindset. Some other. So yeah, I always encourage them that, you know, if you can, I mean, if you will, you can. Uh, because, uh, you know, actually our brain is a state develop, right? So, so we have to develop our brain by uh, training, training them, right? Um, you know, uh, it's not only Asian or uh, Caucasian that, that are good in math, but also some, you know, like African American also, they put in math, like we can see from the movie or from the story of the three female mathematician that worked for NASA a long time ago. <clears throat> that is famous with a, 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 a 
hidden feature, features. Right? Okay. So we can teach them about uh, culturally responsive thinking by borrowing the idea from the culturally receive responsive teaching. Um, so the material and method that we use is uh, we have a uh, data from the previous uh, student. Uh, the data is from the re in vitro research on the cancer treatment. So we need to we yeah at the time he just borrowed the data from the previous student and only one student that who use his own data. Um, so we try to modify the classical mathematical methods, I mean models for the cancer growth and treatment in order to get the best fit model for the data. Um, as you know, um, some of the student has tendency uh, has a tendency uh, and tendency to you know like just say doing for something like that. So in this case, uh, to try we try to avoid the free riders. So each student we has a different is a problem. So they can just, you know, become a uh, work like that. See doing the other student to, to, to do the research. So they have to have to do the their own research by giving them you know, different data and also the different problem. <clears throat> But they, they, but they was free to discuss their problem with their peers. So, you know, if, as before, we need to, you know, the minutes and this, the research and the project, the assignment and data, we use the Canvas LMS. And also we use the, and also to, to coordinate the programming activities, so we use the GitHub and, and also the Spider with the Python. Um, yeah, this is something about uh, what you call it, uh, culturally uh, responsive teaching, something like that. Okay. So I just want to skip this um, and would like to go to the next slide. Uh, so the student, so we have meeting, we have a meeting with a student every, every day, like from nine to 12 during the weekdays uh, to discuss what they did for the research and also to check whether they research in the right direction or not. Okay. Then for the rest of the day, they can work by their own or in groups. And they can use the Canvas conference for their meetings. And also we are available during the weekends if the student need it. Um, so to see the student improvement toward the research and training in computational and mathematical biology, we took the pre-program and also the post-program survey. So this is the classical model that we use, the classical mathematical model that we use. So we have uh, seven different ODE models. One is exponential, the second one is Mendelssohn, the third one is logistic, the, third, the fourth one is linear, surface and compact and fertility. Okay. And this is the this is the name of the student, the six student that I mentioned before. And this is the research topic that they did. So they use the same cancer cell for this one for this five student and also only one student that use a different um, cancer cell. And okay, sorry. So, uh, so this is uh, for the. So this is a uh, without treatment. So without treatment, the uh, the best fit model is uh, the the plant the fertility. Only there's one here that's not. And when we use the treatment. We uh, the student used different kind of treatment. Uh, the first student used the crude onion extract. The second student used the crude ginger extract, and the third student using the curcumin. And that one using you know you can see this is how they use different kind of uh, nanoparticle. Okay. 
they use a cold nanoparticle and collagen nanoparticle. As you can see, uh, the best fit model is like, well, this one is paternity and this one is gonopod. And this is linear. So it looks like the, the problem is like a, a problem dependent for the, for the one that is used uh, treatment. Uh, this one is Yeah, I didn't remember this one. It's, uh, I think this one is using the... Okay, yeah. So it is said that they're using the lowest uh, lowest treatment concentration. Okay. But I think only this two students were able to do the modeling. So like this student and also this student were not able to do the modeling due to the, the, the time constraint for, you know, the length during the summer because the summer is only like eight weeks. And this is the example if we use the Petalum 3 model. Uh, you know, we, in order to solve the problem, we use, uh, we formulate the problem as a, um, as a unconstrained differential equation optimization. And we use the, uh, yeah, I think the student using the needle mid, but, but uh, also the other student using the, the, I'll call it a robot. Uh, yeah, this the the needle meat is the, the most popular method for the unconstrained optimization. Uh, but some students using the robot. Using other methods, I think the other method is more robust compared to this uh, the method. So you can see how the model is really matched to the data. So, so the the black with the dot, the black line with the dot is like for the experiment data, and then we use uh, initial guess, and then this one is the optimal the optimal solution for the best fit model. Yeah, I think this, this is the, the, the paternity model. Um, so this is the evaluation for, I mean, this is the pre-programmed survey. Um, so you can see here for the question one, about their knowledge about uh, what is applied mathematics. So uh, like, uh, yeah, so this one is, uh, yeah, the first one is uh, about uh, 40, 43 something, right? And this is the post program survey. So you can see uh, after the after the program, the yeah, so the program they, they change the they change the what is it the the mind about or they thought about the uh, applied mathematics and also the computational and Mathematical modeling, uh, computation and mathematical knowledge. Uh, so all of the question here is increasing. Right? Okay, so the conclusion is, uh, so we could prove that uh, minority student engagement in doing research and training is just tremendously improved, right? And we could train them to have 
uh, you know, through mindset and also to have the culturally responsive thinking through data science and mathematical modeling. And also the student could show that their mathematical model are useful for the predicting cancer growth from the in vitro experiment data with different treatment. And also the student successfully could complete their research virtually, write their final project, uh, the, the final report in latex, and also make the final presentation in Zoom. And, uh, you know, the faculty, the staff, and the student attended the presentation. And, you know, the, the attendees are uh, really impressed with, with the student. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is our next, I mean, our, our, our future plans. So we will evaluate all of this about the recruitment and everything. Yeah, the problem is that uh, we, we have a problem with the uh, recruitment from the mathematics students. Uh, yeah, somehow because of the COVID also, we have a problem in recruiting the mathematics students. So most of the students who join the program is from biology. Yeah, this is what we plan, you know, to expose the student to the computational and mathematical biology. We need to encourage them to go to some conferences, especially the conferences for minority students, you know, like SACNAS or maybe LMCMs. And also, we try to push the student to create a program. To, in, uh, to the graduate program and career in computation and mathematical biology and also industry. Like uh, we try to join the big math program and also we try to join the society for mathematical biology in our meetings and all that. And also we try to extend our collaboration to more broaden, to more broadening institution like like what, what I did right now. So, you know, uh, working with uh, Dr. Hongkins, I sent my student to his program this summer. Yeah, I think, I think that's all for my presentation. Yeah, I'm sorry if that's not really good presentation. Okay, thank you, we do. Uh, uh, <clears throat> we have a and your student, Vanessa Ramos. Uh, yeah, Vanessa Ramos.